Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes to the Shura of His goodness together. Today I'm meditating upon, be wise to seek for the goodness of God. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Psalm chapter 14, verse 2. The Lord looks down from heaven on the entire race of humankind. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise and if anyone seeks God. Now Sue can learn from the verse you just read. How often do we thank God for anything that happened in our lives which is against our expectations? In our challenging situations, how many times we feel that we might have said, Why me, God? I'm living according to the things pleasing to you, then why am I always in trouble? How often are we blessed but yet we still grumble? I've asked these questions not to make you feel guilty of something, but instead to encourage you to examine the grumbling nature we have, and unless we evaluate ourselves, we can't fix things. Grumbling is a part of our sinful nature. When we grumble, we are at the point of rebellion, and that's the point where our adversary uses his powerful schemes to harm us by separating us to rebel. This situation could become one of the ways used by God to reveal his goodness to us. He is a God who cares for us. The Lord Jesus says that he even knows when a hair on our head falls. Could we feel and enjoy God's goodness in the midst of any situation that seems bad? Yes, we can. And we have to believe this. We have to believe in God's timing. He is always with us. Do not follow the lifestyle of the wicked people, for when the problems come, they harden their hearts to the advice and guidance of the word of God. For the wicked seeking the Lord is a futile and a nonsensical thing to do. However, the Lord tells us that seeking him is the right and real thing to do. It makes sense because God also sees real things in this world. When we see the universe that was created by God, our sense acknowledges that God is real. The Lord shows his goodness to those who really seek him through prayer. First, he shows spiritual goodness, which means that he will bring them to the mountain of the Lord to experience the fullness of the power of his love. After that, he reveals his goodness to them by restoring the soul and giving his blessings. God is good all the time. Trust him with the thankful spirit. This message also gives us a promise to to the promises. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. Let's close time prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God. Lord, help me to start this to be focused on your goodness and by submitting all at your feet to take care of what I'm going through. Lord, be with me and my whole family and all friends. Know that all what comes before us is to glorify you. Train us to be focused and strengthen us to be submissive and ready for anything that you do in our lives. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.